Hey everyone, this is Brandon with Freeman's Construction. I'm here in Ramona at this custom home again that we're building. I want to show you uh, the freestanding tub filler, what we're putting in here, and just kind of the details that go into putting one of those in. So let's take a look. All right, so here we are looking at where this tub filler is going to go. These are becoming more and more popular. Uh, they look beautiful and they function really nice, but Darn, they are a lot of work to put in. So there's a lot of different steps to making this function right and be stable. So I just kind of want to show you what goes in to putting these in the ground and making them work. So this is our rough in valve that's going to get anchored to the floor. This is a slab on grade home. So the installation is definitely going to be different than a subfloor where those are actually much easier to put in because you can get access to uh, underneath them. But what we do here, uh, some, some of the... Um, insulation they recommend encasing all those pipes and that rough end valve in concrete which anytime we encase copper or PEX and concrete it's always uh, a little nerve-wracking so we do it a little bit different when we're in an area that's non-traffic so this is a corner our tub is going to sit here so this fixture is going in the corner so no one is ever going to be um, stepping on this area so what we're going to do this area um, which we've chipped and excavated out the concrete. I'll talk about that in a minute, but that we're not going to pour back with concrete or anything. The tile that's gonna go on here, we'll span that. Um, and so that we don't need to uh, bury those those pipes in concrete. It's just less, less risk. And uh, if it ever needs maintenance or anything later on, there's a lot less uh, jackhammering and chipping that you need to do. So what we do here, as you can see on our rough in valve, there's a finished floor minimum and a finished floor max. So depending on what you're working with for height and the height of the tub and all that, those are things to pay attention to and then the buildup of your finished floor. So you can see my couple Sharpie marks here. That's just, we're gonna shoot right in the middle here. We know that we can be within about an inch and a half of finished floor and this fixture still works. So they give you a lot of breathing room to make uh, just to, to make the installation right. So the area where the fixture is gonna to mount to the floor and also where the pipes are gonna travel, what we do is we saw cut this area. You can see here, it's nice and straight, like we didn't just go at it with a jackhammer, but we saw cut that and then we um, chip it out about an inch over our depth because this concrete never chips flat. So we chip it out a little bit deeper than it needs to be and then we mix up a rapid set um, grout or concrete mix so it'll basically self level so we pour that in there it self levels it hardens up it's not perfectly flat but it's close enough where we can mount this let me get this out of the way here where we can mount this rough in valve and then shim it up with um, we always anytime we do a shim that's on the concrete we always use some kind of composite shim so it doesn't rot over time. But then we'll just drill down on each one of these four holes, put some concrete anchors in it, and then um, we'll, we can run our copper or PEX, whichever one you're using, to your uh, water supplies. Once the tile installer comes, he can, he, he'll put his tile straight up to this plastic, and then that gets cut off. You put the fixture right on top of that, put in some set screws, and then it's done. So. Uh, like I said, all the all the work is in the rough, but that's what makes the difference between this looking just good or it looking great. So we pay a lot of attention to how that is that is installed, and make sure and it's it's plumb and and uh, flat. All right, so that's the general overview of kind of the installation of what it takes for this freestanding tub filler. And this is one of the selection points that we meet with our clients on because this is kind of a big deal. They're they're spending a fair amount of money on this really nice fixture. We want it to be right where they they want it. So we meet with them. We get the tub in here. We say, do you want it like this? Do you want it like this? And just so it's in the perfect spot. So we're getting ready to put this all together, and I think it's going to come out really nice. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new about these freestanding tub fillers. Like I said, they look really nice. There are a lot of work to put in, but when they get done right, they look really good on the finish. So. Uh, if you'd like more information on building a custom home, you can check out our website, freemansconstruction.com, and we'll see you next time.